everyone thinks it's a sort of obsession. When I think about knitting, I can either say knitting is something I do, or I can say I'm a knitter. So one thing's about your identity, and the other's about what you do. And I guess really I'm a knitter, so it's, it's part of who I am. When I was growing up, I knitted in fits and starts because when you, whenever you learn to do anything new, it's hard. So you need to practice. So if it's not going well, you don't do it. By the time I was about 10, I could read knitting patterns. So I knitted dolls' clothes, which were really just like knitting adults' clothes. And my mum was such a good knitter, and so were my grandmothers, that really I was too slow. But I always knitted on and off. About six years ago when I had breast cancer, I knitted just constantly through that. And in fact, I can remember joking with the surgeons that when they had to take the lymph glands from under your arms, do not snip the bit that's to do with knitting, otherwise I'll be really angry, really, really pissed off. I had to go and have radiotherapy, so every day I had to go to the hospital for five weeks. And I'd sit in the waiting room and I knitted socks and I gave them all away because I didn't want to have an association with those socks. And one day they came and it was my turn and we are all dressed in these hideous blue um, gowns. And I was sitting there knitting and I'd passed it to the next person, to the next person, and it was all wound round our legs. And it sort of was like a thread that bound us together. It was a sort of symbolic thread. It was something that just kept me going, you know, like one step after another, one stitch after another, and it just grows. Slowly, it'll grow, and the time will pass. So I've got different sorts of wool. This one here is mainly double knitting yarn. A friend gave me this from England. This is hand spun yarn. Oh. Then there's some more. I don't know where that came from. Probably think I'm mad. This is really embarrassing. <laughs> oh, and that was for another project I haven't made yet. See, that would make a nice stripe with that. That's made from saris. There's this, which is only good for slippers. That one's organic. This isn't all of it. one time in my life when I didn't knit and my mother, my mum was a wonderful knitter and when she got arthritis in her hands and was getting really ill she couldn't knit and I didn't knit because it seemed really cruel to knit in front of her when it was this thing that she really loved to do and she couldn't do it so I didn't do it and that was a sort of, it was odd to be like that. So it took me quite a while to overcome that because when I knitted I thought about her after she died. This suitcase, this belonged to my mum in 1945. She went to live in Tikawiti. Can you imagine she took everything to live for three months? That's all she had for three months. Anyway, so now every time I open it and it's full of this is just scraps of different weights. Um, I think of her. She'd quite like to have that much yarn. What's the best part of knitting? The colour. I really love colour. You know. So I have to be a bit careful about that because it might be a bit excessive. But I do love that. And I really like the way in which the, the items emerge off your needle. You start just either with something straight and then you show, sew pieces together. Or like the socks I finished yesterday. You start and you just make this tube and you do a few technical things. And you come out with this object, formed object. But just sometimes it's nice to think, I made that 
it's finished, it's quite gorgeous, and you've got something to give to a friend. And friends seem to really like it when you give them something hand-knitted, particularly if it suits them. Not your naff sort of scratchy jumper that everybody laughs about, but if somebody gets really gorgeous gloves or a beautiful hat that just suits them, is the right colour for them, then they really appreciate that. And it's a really nice feeling to give something to somebody that you've made yourself and a little bit of love in every stitch and thought about them while you're making it. I like that.